Take that leg side away. Think about it. Open the blade. Just carve it over backward point. Three men are all up inside the circle. So much room. Now he's going to change it. He's going to change it for that very reason. So deep square leg comes in. Backward point goes out. Batsman's asked for his shoelaces to be tied up. I've never got this, you know. Why don't you just take your gloves off and tie your own shoe up? You realise that it's not the easiest thing to tie someone else's shoe either. I mean, you know, you know what's like, you've got kids. <laughs> tie your own shoe. The point goes out. out. It's like putting a tie on somebody else, like when we have to dress Danny in the morning. Yeah, I, I ended up just buying them when we played together for New Zealand, I just bought one of those elastic ones. <laughs> Much easier. And the bullies in the playground pull it and let go. And another one, another wide. This is good. This is good for the gladiators. I mean, let's go get this right. Again, from the bats, and all I'm thinking is open the play. Play with almost a half a bat. Yeah. You just swing as hard as you can, it'll slice away. That's right, no third man whatsoever. And if the batsman wants to, as well, he knows the delivery is going to be near the off stump. Step across to the offside and try and open up the square leg. Oh, extra cover. Man out there. Doesn't get there. Does not get there. That's a good shot. This is the over they need. 14 so far. Still three to go. Yeah, 27 now from nine. The problem with bowling wide if the off stump even taking the pace off. You're giving the batsman width. You're allowing it to swing through the line. There's no risk of LBW. There's no risk of being bold. It's not a wise choice in my mind. Still going to get the depth, especially to guys who are batting number six and seven. Bolt the stumps. Full and straight. Give yourself the option of taking the wicket as well. See a change of plan or not. Nicholas Gorans just had a chat. Right, Emirates. Oh, straight through him. Bluffed him. Field was set the same for the wide one. He's gone full and straight. And Sharafu did. Has lost his off stuff. There you go. You go straight, the guy misses. You're in luck. Well done, the bowler, Emmett, keeping his nerve. Roll off the pad. Nice and full and straight. Gladiators lose their sixth wicket. The shot's got to go for 13. Gladiators, 117 for six. <laughs> Shampoke <laughs> Sean Zamir is the new batsman. On strike, goes short, wide, it'll be wide as well. Well, 10 extra so far. She's disappointed. It's just, just nice and full. You saw the batsman getting across his stumps, trying to open up that leg side. And that's good. We motor just whistle into it as well. They just rely on the miss hit to a fielder. Right now, Fox the bats. Two balls remaining. Two boundaries, probably. Oh, is that good enough? No, it should be out. It should be out. Is it Fabian Allen coming in again? No, he's dropped it. He's dropped it this time. Just giving him a big out to about how good a fielder
You're welcome. Sorry about that, Fabian. What a length. You're talking about the ball, having a bat now. So they don't hit the ball as cleanly and as consistently as batsmen. They might get the odd one away. This one just went very high. To be fair to Alan, he had to run a good 35 yards off that boundary. Coming forward. He got there in the end. Couldn't quite cling on to it. Oh yeah, the big delivery this. Swing and a miss. 120 for six, one over remaining, 24 required. Brown from the right back, not to the second. Got down, Miss Shadi. Good, good, guaranteed. Brown from the right back, not to the second. Oh, it's in the back. No run at all. Okay. 
Now we need two Maximums. Maximus. For the commander of the Army to the North. Demands two Maximums. That's a pretty ballsy move. They couldn't have gone for the uh, run the one. They definitely have a run out going back for a two. Of course, that would mean the fielder could have run out and while. So, turn it down and hope for the best. He's going to go for six, barring a, a no ball or a wide. What's he got? And why are we? Ah, good bowling. Really good bowling from Wayne Parnell. Right now, Wayne Parnell, keep your foot behind the line. Don't bowl it too wide, game over. Absolutely. I've often thought in this uh, situation, if the ball's wet, I was a bowler, I'd stand a yard behind the stumps and just gently tear my arm a bit. Hit, hit it for six, be my guest. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. You know, last thing you want is one slipping, head high. There you go. All of a sudden, no ball that goes to the boundary, something like that. Get it right. Oh, let's go for six. Let's go for six. It's a great finish. They've got really close to the Gladiators, but the Warriors are going to win another. After losing their first, they've just got win-win, win-win, the Warriors, and they've done it by three runs tonight. The Gladiators, though, have made it to 140 for six. And Anwar Ali, 35 off 10. What a great effort from him at the back end of the innings. That's one of my favourite games of this tournament, I must admit. A good total, a great chase, just coming up short. That's the very last ball. Beautifully picked up, the power there. My word. A fine knock. 35 from 10 for Anwar, but not quite enough. So they just pull up a few runs short. The Warriors, they're on the roll, the juggernaut. Steaming along. They have been superb, haven't 